Prostate cancer among men is the most common form of cancer in Latvia, even moving ahead of lung cancer diagnoses. There's a new method, however, that ensures the successful treatment of prostate cancer. The method is robotized radiosurgery that was developed thanks to the development of various technologies. We have access to high-energy three-Tesla magnetic resonance to precisely determine the size of these tumors, as well as high-quality computer tomography to register the images. There is also positron emission tomography that is available in Latvia and can be used to precisely determine the boundaries of the tumor and use lasers to process only the malignant cells, not the tissue that surrounds them. The method is based on ion rays that are very precise and the whole system is very focused in entering a high amount of ionized laser into the cells. The precision is ensured by a robot that can approach the tumor from various angles and from anywhere in the room, concentrating the beams so as to create an effect that is similar to surgical intervention. This technology has been used to treat tens of thousands of patients in the world, and it has been used in Europe since 2004. There is a sixth-generation CyberKnife apparatus in Sigulda, which is the most modern and capacious apparatus in its class. The system ensures maximum effectiveness in treating oncological pathologies with minimal negative side effects. The decision to use the apparatus is taken by a council of doctors who deal individually with each specific case. Initially, the cyber knife was used to treat brain tumors, but now it is used much more extensively. Basically, it deals with small formations in all kinds of body parts, including newly formed tumors, metastasis, as well as benign formations and functional nerve diseases such as three-branch nerve neurology, if other therapies prove to be ineffective. In such cases, the cyber knife system can be used to treat such complicated problems. As noted, the cyber knife is successfully used to treat prostate cancer. The advantage is a comparatively easy procedure with far fewer post-operation side effects. When there are side effects related to this robotized radiosurgery, they are similar to those of classical laser therapy, but they appear and disappear more quickly. There is a fundamental difference in relation to potency because surgical treatment is very problematic in terms of results that do not harm nerves that are close to the prostate. This fractioned laser surgery, in turn, does not harm the veins of nerves and, on average, the potency of the patient declines by 10 to 15 percent, which is not too dramatic. Another plus to the radiosurgery is that the patient feels no pain or discomfort during the procedure, which is painless and with a minimum risk of any complications. The patient does not feel the ionized ray, and when it comes to the number of doses that are needed, usually one is enough. The dose is entered just once, and if there are complicated cases related to dangerous organs or tissue that must be protected, we can enter the dose in segments, usually up to five segments and up to five times. The system is particularly effective during the early stages of cancer, so it is very important to get tested regularly. 
Например, если это рак простаты, да, если это первые симптомы, in the case of prostate cancer that is in the first stage, 98% of patients are fully treated without any reappearance of the cancer. Dear men, take care of your health. Going in to submit analyses once a year, after all, is so very simple.